Please welcome designer Yannick Samard. <laughs> Good morning. Talk to us <laughs> about your bedside table. Yes. So if you're in your master bedroom, and there's so many things you can do in the master bedroom uh, to make it look beautiful, but your, yeah. your side tables are a big deal because if you're they reading are. at night, your, your lights are going to be there. You might want to leave a glass of water there, but it doesn't mm -hmm. mean you have to you have to um, sacrifice on style. Exactly. Right? Well, you know, we've been teaching people at home for years now, go with the hotel chic. Everything yes. almost the same. You have the dresser and you have this, the nightstands, all the same material. So I'm like, you know what? It might be time to go to Urban Barn, which this is where everything's coming from, and try, <laughs> try to kind of break it up a little bit because we have a little store there yeah. in the studio. So um, I was thinking, you know what? Different nightstand could look very nice. It's not because your dresser is wood that you cannot do like metal nightstands. Right. So this looks like very nice and it's very practical, but then we can step it up a notch and have more fun with it. Okay, so, that's so forget I, even doing a bedside table. Exactly. Let's take this out and put in a dresser, which makes a lot of sense yes. if you don't have a lot of space in your master bedroom it's and you want storage. storage yes, right? exactly. Like, so we have, this I've is. picked this amazing mirror, very aff affordable storage uh, dresser, uh -huh. and uh, they've just put a lamp on top. And you know what? There's probably just one rule to keep in mind is to keep it balanced on each side. Okay. And also, we have a very high headboard. So we went with a very tall lamp on this side. Yes. As you see, like we went with a shorter lamp on that side, which is like kind of funky because. Is that it, okay? Are you okay? Are you <laughs> yes, he's good. <laughs> Let's is it okay name to him. do mismatched lamps? Like you're saying, we're, we're moving away from the whole hotel chic, and that's all about yes. asymmetry. You can everything have differences. the same, everything's super balanced. Right. Now we're kind of breaking the rule and having fun okay. a little bit. All right. So more storage, different lamp. It's funky. We love it. Now I have another look for you as well. Okay, what are we going to put in next? Okay, you know what? If you want, a lot of people like little lounges in their room, but they don't have the, the dresser, room guys. for that. So you know what? I was thinking to bring a lounge chair beside the bed. A chair. Okay. A chair. So you don't with even a floor have to lamp. have two tables. No, exactly. Thank with you. a floor lamp and a little table right behind you. Look at that. Okay, so, so this is great because now you, can, you can read bedtime stories to your partner. See? <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. Yes. No, but it is That's nice to have a chair all. in the bedroom. You know what my mother used to always what? say? You don't sit on the bed. Oh. You don't sit on the bed. <laughs> The bed is for sleeping, and it's so true. you should have a chair in yes. your room. You yes. know, your chair is going to be for anything else you want to be doing, but your exactly. bed is for sleeping. So, so this that's makes a lot of sense. It, it brings another function to your bedroom as well. Right. You know, um, and then let's show an, uh, another, another one? look. Yeah. Okay, where are have we going now? Have a third look, which you is kind of cool. Hard. You know what? Okay, Maybe so while they're the changing chair. this. Uh, color for your walls. What should you think about when it comes to painting your master bedroom? You probably don't want bright red walls. No. <laughs> no. Although it could look very nice, yeah. you wouldn't get a good rest. You Not know what, calming. I've picked some great colors from Benjamin Moore, I'll show you quickly. Okay. Uh, they're like soothing color and it's better to go with cool colors. So we have the blues, we have the purple, we have a darker kind of gray, blue and green. Those are like perfect colors yeah, for your very bedroom. Nice. Very yeah. soothing. Very soothing. Okay, oh, there so you now go. automatically we have this beautiful screen here. Isn't so that that's nice? another look. Because we have a very high headboard, the screen works perfectly. Uh -huh. And then we bring a bit of bling with the crystal lamp I here with that. It, it creates like such an amazing mood. And then uh, I'm like, you know, why not little stools? Because you all need rooms like you need to sit if you want to tell a story beside the bed like you're doing to it's your important. husband every night. Right. And uh, you can move them around and you can also put like a little tray on the stool. Right. And so it's kind of a nightstand slash stool. Yeah. I love it. All great options and unexpected options that people might not really think of. The other thing is yes. you have to think about your lamp height, right? There isn't yes. any reason why it can't be a floor lamp, but if you are reading, yes. you want to make sure that light's coming down exactly. so that you can actually see exactly. your book. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, since we brought all of these great variations for side tables, we thought we would ask our other guest experts yes. to bring their favorite side tables. Yes. So we've got Stacy McLennan and we've got Sharon Greck. Come on in here. <laughs> Come on in here, guys. And we have these, right? So I'll get you. Come over here, my 
<laughs> like trying to hide. Here, I know. Like, it's just going. It's TV. We want to see you. So come and stand beside your table. Stace, is this yours? Sure, come and stand over there. We have to match our tables. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's you start go. with yours, Yannick. And I will hold this up so people can see how yes. you. Is this actually your home? It is my home. I'm I took jealous. a little picture of the uh, beside my bed because I, I, I wanted is. our viewers at home to understand why I went with oh. such a small table. It's yeah. a very tight space. Right. And uh, I wanted something nice and airy and low. So that's why I went with this. And that's the lamp that you see in the picture. Because yes, I kind of think it. You know, instead of a table lamp, floor lamp is kind of cool, and it's almost the same height as the headboard. Right. So it kind of jazz it up a little bit, it change it up. You get some nice variation there, yes. right? Yes. Okay, yes. so Sharon, I'm sure, is this going to be a paint project? You know what? One of these days, because it's yes. already started, actually because you asked me to bring my, I looked at my bedroom and went, oh my goodness, I'm going to bring my husband's because his is a much better <laughs> shape than mine. But we went for sort of an eclectic, like they're both I a little bit it. different. They, you know, this one was um, a, a, a used piece, a flea market find. The other one has metal, and it was a mix of materials that kind of works with with our style but the, we have a really small house so yes. there's not a lot of space so it was kind of nice just to have something there just to have a little lamp and and yeah. uh, you know something with somewhere to put your books and a drawer just to you know hide things so they don't necessarily have to match and a lot of people no. are in the same situation living in a really small space and you don't want to go in with this humongous yes. Yes. Uh, bedside table and if you just a, don't have the exactly. room exactly and it is a great opportunity to buy a piece or to pick something up from a yard sale and paint it and make it tie in with your space even yes. if it doesn't right from the beginning right so. it's not a paint project but she's got her paint chips she's there. I've got no. my paint, I have a paint chip. <laughs> I dream <laughs> in color so right yes. beside my bed okay now let's talk about your pick here Stacy I think that this is so cool yes, oh, it great. Is cool. it's actually a Chinese serving table that I found and uh, very low height so I've balanced it off with stacking things I have all my favorite design magazines there a little jewelry box so you can throw your jewelry in there at the end of the day and a floor lamp which actually ends up lining up with about the height of the table lamp on the other side of the bed. Um, so on the other side of the bed we have a regular height bedside table yeah. but just by playing with the uh, scale of things you can really make it balance out. Very nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now we were so talking cool. a little bit about right. color in the bedroom, Sharon. So you had a really nice calming color palette. Mm -hmm. Could you would you do red walls in your master you bedroom? Know what? The master bedroom is an opportunity where you don't have to have it flow with the rest of the house. So mm -hmm. if I, I think it's a great place to put whatever color you like. The thing with red is it's very stimulating Strong, and you know yeah. you might not need your coffee in the morning you know, wake up <laughs> without the alarm clock but on the wall behind the headboard behind you. <laughs> there you yeah. exactly. Exactly. or maybe a it's shade a that's a little closet. bit more calming you know mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit more muted. I like the dark bluey green and it's a bit more right. calming but it still or makes like a, a statement. Raspberry red too that might be nice yeah. it's a little yeah, more toned calming. down. Yeah. yeah we are going to talk a little bit more about color flow as yes. you mentioned later on in the show for now we're going to break though stay with us more coming up.